Dicewell was a member of Cheddar Boys from the West Side, a rap group that ran Detroit streets from like 2000 to like 2010. Blade died in 2005, and they still went crazy after that week. The likes of KDZ, he dropped a project in my hood. He got another project in my uh, role model. KDZ ran the bandwagon from like... 2005 after Blade got killed to 2010 doing music with Mae West and we'll go on but when Blade from 2000 they he got his name from early early 90s actually because it was like 98 99 you know what I'm saying Blade grew up in Southfield Michigan and by Southfield it's like 8 mile 9 10 mile he went to Oak Park High 10 mile 10 mile that's also what a uh, rapper HBK you know what I'm saying? He went to Oak Park High too. Dope boy cash out. No, uh, but he spent time on the West Side, you know. He was a West Side guy. Now, his uh he also was in a group. In a group he had Juan. Juan had Dirty Glove ENT. He had Jesse James. Jesse James had X and I Records. You know what I'm saying? Blade had Icewood ENT. Them boys was independently balling. You know what I'm saying? Just like you would see nowadays with Team Eastside is doing, you know what I'm saying? But we'll get back to that with their success with their record labels. But Blade uh, end up blowing up with his song, Boy Would You. And he'd be like, Boy, would Boss Up and Get This Money? Would you? Boss Up and Get This Money? It was a song like that, you know what I'm saying? From Blade. Took over the streets. Everybody was doing the dance. Everybody doing the dance, hitting the dance, you know what I'm saying? NBA stars, NFL stars hitting the dance. Blade, that guy. He got songs with Cash Money. From Baby on the, on the track to, at the time, it probably was Cam. Cam was on there. Whoever your stars is at the time was on his project. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with uh, Eastside Cheddar Boys. Eastside Cheddar Boys buzzing. They uh had Dwight Howard, I think, in a video. Some some Somebody in a music video back then. He was an NBA star. But they had conflict about the song, Boy... I ain't even gonna say they had conflict about the song, but this how deep it was. When Blade dropped the song, Boy Was You, you know what I'm saying? Boy, boss up and get this money. Like, y'all boss up, get money. Uh, Cheddar Boys from the East Side dropped the song, We Boss Up and Take That Money. And it was basically Tough Tone talking about, um, you know what I'm saying? I'll take your stuff. I'll take your shit, basically. You know what I'm saying? If I ever fall off, I'm snatching your kids. You know what I'm saying? Big baller, come up off a couple of them hundred stacks if you want your son back. Now, please believe that. Yeah, tough used to go hard. He said, you nigga, when I whip the pistol out, nigga, come about them diamonds. Probably don't like me, because living in the hood got me acting shysty. I know a lot of niggas that don't like me. I ain't gonna snatch your chain. I'm gonna take it off nice and politely. They like tough on some, you know, I'm in the clear. Tough was going crazy, bro. Tough Tone was going crazy on that nigga snatch you up, full time killer. You know what I'm saying? I think he had, a, he had a lot of bangers, you know what I'm saying? Real gangster music back then. Was talking about running up in there, you know what I'm saying? He was talking like he ran up in there and popped. Uh. Blade, you know what I'm saying? And Blade rapped on his song. Yeah, I got popped. But your mans ain't make it. I took seven. He took three. He wasn't tough as me. That's what your boy Blade said back to him. Man, this beef isn't in my head, you know what I'm saying, at the time. That was an influential time, you know what I'm saying? And the music was great. This wasn't no music that was no ass music. This was some great music. So they made a lot of money off the music, you know, in the time. Um, Blade dropped that Stack Master, Come Roll, Come Roll. What's the song that was selling? They used to play this all around the Midwest. Come Roll with a nigga, yeah, with a nigga, come stack with a nigga. Dropped, uh, Blade dropped Blood, Sweat, and Tears. You know what I'm saying? That was one of his best CDs. Uh, Jesse, Jesse dropped so many projects, you know what I'm saying, the Outlaw Project, um, which they was going on there, on Jesse Projects, they had a, a bunch of songs that was taking shots aimed back, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, he was talking about tough ran off with the work, but he still broke, he got a slug in his throat, he still smoked, if you scared Big Baby called 911, 
Yeah, that was a song that was on Jesse Project. I remember that was a banger. Man, all of this, I'm just going free free off the top of the mind. I didn't even have to write nothing for this one. I feel I can just talk to y'all. So I hope y'all remember, man, Blade Icewood, how that beef basically got crazy over, they just said, truthfully, that the uh, east side was getting buzzed and Blade being like how west side guys is, that's average shit. They get mad because they getting success and feel like uh, – they need to be showing us love or showing us something. I will tell, be honest, like West Side, Detroit, West Side people are more bougie, more funny type. You know, it's hard to get along with them. They funny acting. The East Side nigga will try to help you. You know what I'm saying? Well, they'll try to help their people, shall I say. Another East Sider, a fellow East Sider. You know what I'm saying? And they'll, they'll put you on on some real money and, you know, and try to keep it going like that. You'll get killed on the East as well, but... It ain't so open on the bougie, you know what I'm saying? So it probably was just about some talk about they uh, East Side Cheddar Boys making the buzz. They say Jesse James, member of Street Lords, had gave him the name anyway, cause they fuck with Jesse getting money. You know what I'm saying? From the west to the east, you know what I'm saying? But that was Jesse's introduction to them to make that East Side Cheddar Boy thing, and uh, it just got out of line. But I had heard, it was another story about Wipeout, you know, what he had really died about, and, uh, I don't even think it was no shit about, uh, from with Blade Icewood at all, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, so Blade lost his life, you know, Seven Mile and, um, Seven Mile and Stout on the west side, Detroit west side, it's like Seven Mile and Southfield area, like a mile or two from... You know what I'm saying? Southfield, 8 Mile, 10 Mile, you know what I'm saying, where he resided, in Oak Park. But, yeah, that's a good time, man. It was some good music. And uh, so give it up to him, man. R.I.P. Blade, he gone. His son not doing music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Tough still doing music. Tough back. Tough was gone, you know what I'm saying? Still was in prison for a while. He back on a, mu on a music scene. Wipe out both his kids doing music, for two cheddar and uh for two cheese and I forgot his the woman name. He got a daughter. I forgot her rap name too. She she got some music too. She hard. So both his kids doing music. Man, it's good to see them, man. With Lil Blade. And it's another one I can't think of, man. But it's glad to see them guys as you know, kids are able to be out here and have success off the music, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, it could have been way, way bigger with them. But Motor City Mag, we're gone. Like, comment, subscribe for more updates.